Hey guys, Silent Sneer here. Welcome to a very special vlog video. Um, today is actually the 15th of April 2019 and well, today something special is happening for me. So if you guys don't know, um, in Singapore we have a brand new shopping mall open at the Changi Airport. So today the vlog is all about that. I'm sure you've known by now because the title of the video says so. So let's go check. Changi Jewel out. Hey guys, so we are here at the waterfall display for Changi Jewel. I'm not sure whether you guys can hear me, but yeah, it's amazing. Um, very, very amazing stuff. You can see there's tons of people around. So yeah, it's only, I, I would say it's actually the fourth day of the preview, but yet there are still a lot of people here. Um, coming to check out Changi Jewel. So if you guys are visiting Singapore, I will highly recommend you to give this place a look as well. So yeah. In front of the ANW Singapore store, uh, my friend Rezao is here. So um, the queue is insanely long. As of this time, the wait period is about 1.5 hours just to even eat an AW meal. Um, why are people so hyped about it? Well, because it's been 16 years since ANW has been away from Singapore. So everybody wants a piece of ANW.
enjoy the HSBC Blue Vortex Light and Sound Show. Have a sparkling time. It's been a pretty long day. I've been here since um, 9.30 a.m. So it's finally time to pack things up and head home. It's been pretty interesting um, considering that the, uh, the night and day scene of Changi Jewel is pretty different. So right now, I I'm gonna take the lift up to the link bridge and hit my way to the uh, MRT and head home. So yeah, see you guys in a while. Oh. All right guys, so I'm finally home. Um, just give me a sec, I'm gonna turn up the light because it is not bright on my face. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm finally home from Changi Jewel Shopping Mall, which is a brand new shopping mall at the Changi Airport. And yeah, so what do you guys think about the place so far? Um, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, and I've actually showcased some of the, um, I would say, most viewed stalls in the Changi Jewel Shopping Mall, uh, mainly because like the Pokemon Center, A&W, and of course uh, Shake Shack. Now these three stores are probably the most key stores in the shopping mall itself mainly because Pokemon Center has never been here before and of course it's the only one within Asia that's outside of Japan so pretty fantastic stuff for Pokemon fans and of course there is Shake Shack which is from the States um, never seen in Singapore before as well so we don't really know how the food tastes like because well, the store is not open yet, even on the preview dates for Ch uh, Changi Jewel um, Shopping Mall. So we have to wait until the 17th of April, so it's just two days away from the time I'm filming this. So yeah, and well, a and has been around in Singapore, but that has been like 16 years ago. Um, a and is definitely one of the, uh, I would say, highlights because I've eaten a and when I was a kid. Um, back in preschool and 16 years later well a few years later actually they, they kind of closed down all their stores in Singapore and nothing was heard of them ever again except those uh, NW drink cans and probably bottled drinks um, those are still around but sadly to say the food like the chili dogs the waffle ice creams and of course the classic float root beers uh, never to be found again except maybe some Singaporeans who probably drove into Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Um, they probably might be able to still eat a and but you know, who wants to travel like a 5-6 to six hour journey just to eat a w in Malaysia. So <laughs> yeah, anyway guys, um, what do you guys think about Changi Jewel Shopping Mall? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it's uh, probably a very fascinating place to visit before flying off um, from Singapore? Uh, maybe back to your home country or maybe, I don't know, if you're a Singaporean, what do you think? Did the government really make use of our money correctly by building the shopping mall? <laughs> but, I don't know, I, I had a pretty fun time. Um, pretty exhausting one actually. I've been there since 10 a.m. in the morning up to well by the time I got home it's about 9 30 p.m. so it's almost 12 hours outside um, just taking a look at Changi Jewel and all the stuff inside there so yeah that's pretty interesting because well I really wanted to shoot how the place looked like uh, at night especially with the um, the light show that they did with the waterfall within the garden itself so that's that's pretty interesting itself um even though it was a very short well show <laughs> so um guys if i did not upload the portion where the waterfall show was recorded on my youtube channel um the video will definitely be on my youtube facebook page links in the description down below uh you can go and watch it for yourself um and see 
that five minutes uh, light show display that they use the waterfall as the screen, I guess. Um, what do you guys think? Um, is it pretty interesting? Um, would you definitely um, check it out when you come to Singapore? Or if you're a Singaporean, was it actually better than the Gardens by the Bay or Marina Bay Sands light shows? You know? Well, everywhere in Singapore, uh, we do have quite a bit of free light show displays at uh, Garden by the Bay and then of course there's uh, Marina Bay Sands. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's kind of creative, but hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, um, anyways, I'm here to show you guys what I got from Pokemon Center. Um, I'm sure most of you guys who have visited the Japanese Pokemon Centers You'll probably recognize the back. It's got like the Gen 7 starters on it. So, um, I, I don't know. I was pretty shocked that Singapore Pokemon Center was smaller than expected. Um, I've never been to the Japanese ones uh, before, so I can't say for sure how they would compare in size. But personally, from you know. Looking at photos on Facebook and all this, I thought the store might be a bit bigger. Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> and it wasn't as big as I thought it would be. Um, the range of merchandise was kind of lacking, maybe because it's still the grand opening of the store. And, um, well, they, there seemed to be some legal issues with bringing certain merch into Singapore. So that, that was another bummer. But anyway guys, I'm going to show you guys what I actually got um, from Pokemon Center Singapore. There were exclusive merch. Um, I only got one of the exclu uh, exclusive merch, um, which I did not own. Um, because, well, if it's exclusive to Singapore, why would I have owned it? But the problem is, um, Pokemon Singapore exclusive merch are actually reused from Japan's exclusive merch. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway guys, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So the first one is Valpix. Yeah, adorable Valpix. So, <laughs> oh, the light light is harsh on Valpix mm, because of the glossy material that they use for the eyes. So yeah, uh, so um, Rokon. So the Japanese name for Valpix is Rokon. So I do have the Alola version sitting on my desk right in front of the camera. Um, it is the Alola version is actually bigger than this. This is pretty small. It's like a palm-sized Valpix, so pretty cute. Um, definitely worth, I would say, the price. I was expecting it to be, you know, way more expensive because well, they did mark up all the merch by thirty percent as compared to the prices in Japan. So this would definitely be cheaper in Japan. But you know, we have our very own Pokemon Center in Singapore. Um, and shipping rates, you know, if you were to buy like just one plush from Pokemon Center Japan or even Amazon Japan's um, Pokemon Center online store, um, having it shipped to you and going through a third party shipper is going to cost you a lot more, I guess, um, than the prices that they have in Singapore. So, pretty, pretty cute. Um, the tag, however, it just generally says Pokemon Center, it doesn't even say Singapore. So you know that these are actually from Japan. It's just that they have this additional tag that has like the um, address of, you know, the local companies uh, <laughs> that distributing all the Pokemon Center stuff. I don't think you can see it, but yeah. So, and of course it has the Singapore price on it. So. Rokon. Alright, so the next thing that I got, which is the only other thing I got, so I only got two stuff from Pokemon Center Japan, even though, no, 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 no not Japan, so Pokemon Center Singapore. Uh, even though the store had a lot of merch, they had a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon plushes. Um, I guess they, they are still thinking that a lot of people are just Gen 1 fans. I was hoping to see Pitplup there. I, I really wanted a Pitplup. Um, or Bochama, if you are familiar with the Japanese names. I wanted Bochama because penguins are my favorite. Uh, yeah, so um, I wanted a Pitplup plush, 
but there wasn't one there. Uh, there was an Empoleon um, plush, but you know, it's too huge for my room. Um, I'm running out of space for figures and all that stuff, so... <laughs> so here's the other thing that's ex kind of exclusive, so it's the Pikachu and Lapras plush. Yeah. So, it's pretty adorable. Pikachu sitting on top of Lapras with um, there's this pouch. I guess the pouch that the trainer that actually uses, so... Yeah, even though they state that it's an exclusive, but this has been released before in Japan. Um, so it's not exactly exclusive, so I don't know how I feel about that. So, hmm. <laughs> uh, the other thing that was exclusive was the Air Steward and the Plane Captain costume Pikachus. But once again, those are not exactly exclusive to Singapore because, well, they just kind of changed like the 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 original concept for that plush uh, to to state Singapore on the uniform of the Pikachu. So I don't really know how to explain it, but I guess I'll put a picture here <laughs> just to show you the Singapore version of the Pokemon Pikachu plushes. Um, it just says S-I-N, which is a short form for Singapore on the costume. But actually these Pikachus are a reuse from the Japanese Railway Limited Editions. Um, so yeah, so it's like, I know, not Railway, I mean like Japan Airlines I suppose. Where the Pikachus wear the costumes, uh, uniforms for the airline. And yeah, so it's... They just sew on the SIN onto the costumes and they put it as official merchandise, exclusive merchandise for Singapore Pokemon Center. I don't know. Pokemon Center. No, nah, it's not Pokemon Center's fault. It's um It's the Pokemon Company, the American side of the Pokemon um, business. Pokemon Company, I don't know, they it, it's kind of it seems kinda of lazy, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the Pikachu exclusive merch for, for Pokemon Center Singapore? Um, so yeah, so here's an interesting fact. Um, I got the info from Nintendo Soup, so I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to read up what they actually wrote regarding the matter. So as you can tell, the Singapore exclusive Lapras merch came with this ring. It's a plastic ring. Now, initially, if you buy this in Japan, yes, you can find this in Japan because it's an exclusive there as well. It is not Singapore Pokemon Center exclusive, unlike what they state. <laughs> um, the ones in Japan actually have metal key rings on them, so you can actually dangle your keys on the plush, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, why are the ones in Singapore plastic? Well, because apparently the government has some pretty strict laws regarding um, lead. So anything that has lead inside it, um, you can't export it out or into Singapore. So, um, so that's one of the reasons why they purposely changed the rings to plastic ones just for the sale in Singapore Pokemon Center. Very very interesting read. Go ahead and read it guys. I'll, once again, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So yeah, that's pretty much the two things that I got from Pokemon Center Singapore. I really really like the Vulpix designs. Um, yeah, I've always found Vulpix very cute. Uh, it, it really bumped up uh, the cuteness with the Al Alola uh, version. The white um, Vulpix very very adorable so I had to complete a set even though the Alola one I have is huge I guess this is the other uh, the little brother or some little sister so yeah so and the other one is of course this one I don't have this one that's one of the reasons why I actually got it so yeah kind of so-called exclusive to Singapore Pokemon Center anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching um, Hope you guys had a pretty interesting view on the new shopping mall at Changi Airport, uh, Changi Jewel. If you guys ever come to Singapore, maybe give uh, the shopping mall a look. Maybe you guys might find some pretty rare stuff there that you guys might be interested in. There are surprisingly a lot of branded stores like um, 
Well, we have Fila. If you're into the fashion of these recent trends, Fila has been getting um, popular again. Um, and of course, we have uh, Sketches, which is selling the One Piece uh, character design shoes. Then, of course, there is uh, if you're into bags and all that. Well, there is uh, you know the usual branded goods like Louis uh, Louis Vuitton. I know, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, so I don't really um, buy all this branded expensive clothing and all that kind of stuff, so I'm definitely going to butcher the brand names, so forgive me on that. So um, yeah, there are a lot of branded stuff in Changi Jewel, so probably if you're into all the fashion Nista stuff, you might enjoy your time there, uh, especially if you're looking for cheaper pricings of those branded clothes. Especially from those um, in, you can find in your own country, they might be overpriced in your own country and might be cheaper here in Singapore. That kind of thing. So, if you ever come into Singapore for a holiday or a trip, um, yeah, make sure you just check out Changi Jewel uh, on your way home. So, until then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys are, um, enjoy yourself with this video. And uh, let me know by hitting the like button down below and of course if you don't like what you see, you know, you know which button to press. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Sometime soon, I guess. Bye!